Hey guys, Shane here, Ozflight Simmer. Welcome to another episode of Test Drive. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, this is where I take a scenery, a utility, or a aircraft, and I'll take it for a spin around a block and give you my first impressions. Is it worth a buying? Should you put up your hard-earned cash to uh, get this product? So, in today's episode, we are looking at a piece of freeware for X-Plane that was released this week, and it's from the team at X-Vision. This is actually a tweak tool for your shaders, uh, very, very similar to uh, the PDA tweak tool that is found in Prepare. In fact, it was uh, by the, the original uh, developers that created the PTA. Uh, it's the same guys that did this one. From my research, uh, the tool was meant to be come out as payware, but unfortunately, due to an update that should be coming soon for X-Plane 11, which is 0 0.30, um, apparently this tool is going to be redundant because they are doing different types of shaders. So in the meantime, X-Vision was kind enough to uh, release this as freeware for us to go and play around and customize our simulator. When it comes to shader tools, I believe there is two different types of people um, in your simulation world when it comes to this sort of stuff. That is one that will spend that much time is customizing their sim uh, to the best that they can get it. And it's never going to be perfect, but damn, it's going to look good and then the other people that are very similar to me would rather use a files from someone's hard work and just install it just like I have done with um, the shaders for this one for you guys watching at home you'll know which one you are but um, I'm the later one which is the lazy one so I'm not going to go through and go through all the different types of menus and give you my opinions and say hey I actually understand this stuff it's because I don't but I know the end outcome uh, which is this is going to be today's video is how it looks so the shader file that I'm using today is from straight from XVision which is impressive and it's the Lua script version so it works well with Lua script very very easy to install I didn't have an issue pretty much three clicks and I was there so today we're going to be doing a flight uh, the milk run from Sydney all the way up to Brisbane which I've done many times uh, this flight is from around about uh, midday during the day and I'm going to show you and compare against um, X-Plane without the script and also X-Plane with the script so we've been saying that let's get on our way
Well, I'm hoping that gives you a bit of an idea of what the X-Vision tool can do. I tried to keep the flights a very similar, uh, same type of weather, going to the same place and also at the same time. Um, what I didn't show you is the sunrises and sunsets. I'll leave that up to you if you decide uh, you want to go ahead and pick the tool up and I think you'll be in for a nice surprise. To me, the tool makes the sim look a lot clearer, um, which means it makes it cinematically look better and pleasing to me. Uh, there's a couple of sections I'm going to try mucking around a little bit to brighten them up because um, I think it's a bit dark. But other than that, I think it makes the sim look a next generation and um, performance-wise, I haven't noticed any difference between previous uh, to now. But with in saying that, the good news is if I don't like what I do, I can always change it back to the default uh, shaders within a couple of clicks. But my overall opinion and also my experience with the PTA from Prepared it is a must. The only thing I could wish for is that something like this or this tool can be extended when point three zero comes out. If you're already using this tool, I would love to hear your comments below and also some links of some pictures of your shaders that you've come up with. So that concludes this week's test drive episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the content today, please hit a thumbs up and a comment below. It helps the word spread in YouTube for the video. And we are on Discord now, so you can check us out during the week what we're up to. And also, we are now doing uh, content twice a week, so please hit that subscribe channel if you want to see more. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Shane, Ozflight Simmer. Cheers, have an awesome day.